Have you ever had the desire to hike up the side of an active volcano? Personally, the idea had never really crossed my mind until we took a trip to Antigua, Guatemala. Antigua is a major cultural hub located 45 minutes west of Guatemala City, which is the country's capital. Guatemala has a reputation for being one of the best places in the world to see erupting and active volcanoes up close. In fact, travelers who choose to spend time in Antigua will be able to see three volcanoes from the city's streets and rooftop bars. And there's actually a fourth volcano nearby, but the view is blocked by the massive Vulcan de Agua. And that fourth volcano goes by the name of Vulcan Pacaya. Hey everybody, I'm Les Murgard with WorkRemotelyLiveRemotely.com, and on today's video, I'm going to cover everything you should know before hiking to Pacaya Volcano. Along the way, I'll also be sharing with you some footage I shot during our hike out to Pacaya. First, let's talk about how to access Vulcan Pacaya. Pacaya Volcano can easily be accessed via car from Antigua, Guatemala. The volcano itself is located to the southeast of town. Visitors should budget about 75 minutes to reach the trailhead parking area if departing from Antigua by car. For our trip to Pacaya, we booked a day trip with Ox Expeditions, who are based out of Antigua. In the video description below, I'll include a link to my Pacaya blog post, which includes a link to the Ox Expeditions booking site. The whole experience took about seven hours, and for our tour, we chose the morning departure. They also had afternoon offerings if getting up the butt crack of dawn isn't your thing. Regardless of departure time, be sure to pack sunscreen, plenty of water, an extra layer, and hiking snacks for your adventure. Be mindful that you're required to have a registered guide for this hike, so if you choose to access the trailhead without a tour company, you can still hire a guide near the entrance, but you will require a guide. You can also find restroom facilities near the entrance, but don't expect to find more once you embark out on your hike. Since you can't do this hike alone, you might as well make arrangements through an Antiguan-based tour company that can also offer a shuttle to the volcano. Don't make this one more complicated than it needs to be. Once you reach the trailhead, the actual hike to the Kaya Volcano isn't too difficult. The journey up from the parking area will take about 90 minutes. The distance of this hike round trip is about 3.2 miles or five kilometers. The trail is pretty well maintained until you get out onto Bukaya's lava rock covered hillside. You'll want to wear sturdy footwear specifically for this part of the hike. While the terrain and total distance suggest this hike isn't too difficult, the steepness and elevation will slow many hikers down. At an elevation of 8,373 feet, which is about 2,552 meters, the air will be thin for many travelers. Along the way, you'll enjoy stunning views of the Guatemalan hillsides as you work up the Bacaya. Off on the horizon, you'll be able to see three separate volcanoes, Agua, Acatenango, and the superactive Fuego. Once the terrain starts to convert from trees to volcanic rock, you'll encounter a small shack staffed by locals selling snacks and water. If you need to reload on anything, this is the place to do it. After passing the small store, you'll work out on the Bacaya's mountainside, which is covered with loose volcanic rocks. This is where those hiking boots will really come in handy. If you're looking for a souvenir, there's a small shack selling crafts made out of Pacaya's volcanic rocks. Anyone planning on buying a souvenir or supplies at the aforementioned shop should be sure to have plenty of cash on hand because they will not take credit card up here. There's a good chance at this point that the wind has picked up by quite a bit and you'll be exposed out on Pacaya's mountainside. Be sure to pack an extra layer in your hiking day pack for this part of your hike. Now for the best part. Our guide from Ox Expeditions even brought marshmallows to roast on the side of the volcano. It's less likely you're going to encounter flowing lava fields on this hike, but you will stumble across heat vents along the side of Pacaya that are hot enough to roast marshmallows or even cook a pizza. There's actually a local who runs a pizza stand on the side of Pacaya Volcano. He uses the heat that escapes through the vents on the mountainside to cook the pizza. And don't worry, once you reach this part of the hike, you really can't miss the pizza stand. It's here that you'll be able to sit back, relax, and enjoy views of the surrounding area from a relatively wide open viewing area on the side of Pacaya. This area makes for a great place to take some photos and enjoy an afternoon snack before making your descent back down to the trailhead. The Pacaya Volcano Hike was one of my absolute favorite activities we did during my trip to Guatemala and I can't recommend it enough. If you found this video guide helpful, be sure to check out some of the blog posts and other travel guides I've written on Guatemala. I've included links to those in the video description below. Don't forget to subscribe and check out some of our other channel content while you're at it as well. Once again, I'm Wes Murgard with WorkRemotelyLiveRemotely.com and thanks for watching.